Welcome to Medical Insight, a weekly healthcare feature brought to you by the experts at Essentia Health. Here's your host, Maureen Tallarico. Today on Medical Insight, we talk with neonatologist Dr. Christina Falcher about the care in the region's only newborn ICU. Here at Essentia Health, St. Mary's Children's Hospital, we have a level three newborn ICU, which means we provide intensive care, critical care, to premature infants all the way to ill-term infants. And uh, what that means is we can do nearly all the care babies need in that age range. We also work closely with other subspecialists in pediatrics here at Essentia, like cardiology, neurology, pediatric support services such as therapies and dietitians. The majority of our patients are actually not the tiniest of the tiny premature infants that you think of when you think of a NICU. They're actually older babies, meaning closer to the end of gestation, that um, have an unexpected reason for being here. Most commonly, it's that breathing issue after birth. At St. Mary's Medical Center, the NICU team is able to immediately attend births on the birthplace if the baby requires extra care after delivery. Both the obstetrics team and the NICU team are in-house 24-7, which makes us uniquely prepared to be able to deal with any situation that arises during labor and delivery. That is advantageous for our obstetrician colleagues because if there's an unexpected issue at birth, we're just right down the hall. So we can attend those deliveries immediately and attend to the care of those infants immediately. The unexpected aspect is important because approximately 10% of newborns will need some help at the time of delivery. Um, and so being able to be there right away to provide that help actually helps us avoid a lot of NICU admissions here at St. Mary's. For Medical Insight, I'm Maureen Tallarico. To learn more about this topic, call our experts at 786-3107.